Mr. Carlin, you're a partner at Morrison and Furser. How does the topic of cybersecurity affect the work of a business firm? So uh, each day we're working with clients to help advise them to, uh, in order to not just comply with law, but how to think about protecting themselves from cyber-related risk in a way that fits with their corporate governance in a world of ever-increasing threat. Okay, and as there is a lot of sensible data, how does Morrison and Furster make sure that the data of their customers stay safe? So for us, we're working often with the company so that they can ensure that their data stay, stays safe. And often what we'll try to work with them on is, in, in today's world, there is no wall you can build or a moat uh, you can create that can keep a dedicated adversary out of your system. The most sophisticated actors, criminals, and nation states can get in if they want to. So that means focusing on incident response. What do you do when the worst happens? How can you set up your system so that if a bad guy gets in, they don't know where the most val valuable data resides? And also, how can you respond not just to a particular cyber incident, but how can you think ahead and invest in areas where you can be resilient so that if key systems are not working, you can still get out your most important products? And besides what um, companies can do, where do you currently see the greatest need for action in politics? Uh, in two areas. One would be that the world cannot continue to be one where uh, you just need to protect yourself and that it, the bad guys can do what they do with no consequence. So number one would be creating consequences for the criminals and others who are attacking private companies day in, day out. And that means working together across country boundaries to do enforcement. And number two would be to incentivize the building of security on the front end with many of the products that uh, the companies are using. So to incentivize security by design.